guys, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. It is cash envelope time for the second half of October. So if you guys didn't check out my video from last cash envelope where I stuffed my October envelopes, I did a whole revamped cash envelope system video. The one that I had before was very dated and one of the first videos that I did on the channel and it was just embarrassing. So I decided to do an updated version. So if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It'll be linked down below as well as the iCard up in the sky. So we're gonna stuff some envelopes. I've got my Savvy Sense wallet here. And also we're gonna talk about the bank. So I get questions all the time of when I purchase something on Amazon or something with my card and how do I do it with the cash envelope system. So if I say make a purchase for something of personal, personal spending money, I buy, I don't know, a shirt or something on Amazon. And then how am I gonna do that? So I pay for it with my debit card, with my Amazon account. And then I come and I take the money out of my cash envelope. So say that these are all stuffed and it was $20, I would take $20 from here. And I have this bank. So I actually use my old Savvy Sense wallet as a bank. And this is where I just keep cash. I actually don't even stick it in the like envelopes. Here's my old post net goes. Does that bring back memories from you guys? Yeah, flashbacks. So I just keep it all here. And here is just a stack of cash. I've got 20s in here. I've got, um, I actually don't have any 10s. I've got fives. I've got a ton of ones. And so for that $20, what I would do is I would just go and add it to the bank so that it's out of my cash envelopes. I know that it's spent. I don't think that it's in there when it's not in there anymore and I don't have the money to spend anymore and I just put it in the bank. And so then when it's time to stuff my cash envelopes again, I'll pull from this money. And this cash comes from per diem. Jamie gets paid per diem. Um, when he goes on a gig, what they do is they give him money for food. So I think they give him like $60 a day. So depending on how many days he's there, then they'll just give him the cash for it. And then that cash will go in here. And then I just stuff my envelopes from here. And if it gets to be too much, sometimes, you know, he'll be going on a lot of gigs and it gets to be, you know, a thousand or two dollars. I'll just go through and I'll deposit, you know, X amount into the ATM at the bank. And that has just worked so well for us. It's kept us on track. And that way I make sure that I'm not overspending or over, yeah, overspending on the cash envelopes. So it goes in the bank. So I hope that answers your question. All right, so let's stuff some envelopes. And this is the second half of the month. So for groceries, I'm going to get $100. So I get $200 for the month. So second half of October, $100. 20, 40, 60, 81. And that's just gonna go right behind where it says grocery. There's a little tab there. Then next is eating out, and that is going to be $100, and I have my Chick-fil-A calendar card there. And this is going to be $100 for the whole month, so the second half of the month is $50. So we're actually gonna do this in tens. 10s and 5s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, $50. dollars, And that just goes right behind my Chick-fil-A card. Then next is um, personal, personal spending money, so $50. So 20, 40, 50. And that goes right in here personal spending money. And then as you guys know, I have this category here for not logged receipts. So after I purchase something, I stick it in here. And then once I've logged it, it goes to here. So here are my logged receipts for the month so far. And that way everything stays organized and make sure that, you know, everything is accounted for, especially with hanging cash. You really want to make sure everything's accounted for and we are good to go. Guys, so easy, easy peasy. Check out the other cash envelope video I just did. And also I know that some of you are new to budgeting and you guys watch my Excel templates. I just did, or my Excel budget updates. I just did a Etsy shop where I have my, my Excel budget template in the shop for you guys. So 
definitely go check that out if it's something that you guys are wanting. It's $5, I've done it for you. I do have a full four part tutorial on my channel of how to set up your own budget, but that is quite a while. And you know, it's a lot of videos and step-by-step -step tutorials. So if you wanna just pay the $5 and have the template, it's there on my Etsy shop, which will be linked down below for you guys. All right, I will talk to you later. Let me know if you use cash envelopes and what categories you stuff. I'd love to hear your categories. All right guys, I will talk to you later, bye.